No, oh, I can see it. Where is it? Should be like right there, yeah. You guys see that little rocket trail right there? That's we're going to the moon. Hooray, Grail. And there's where we went in our rocket to the moon. Look at how big it is. But my mom called me earlier, which was an interesting thing because um, you guys remember how Briggs died? My mom was not home when Briggs died. She was away in the Bahamas, actually, which, you know, is good because she was in the Bahamas. But so we decided not to tell her while she was in the Bahamas and wait till she comes home. So she's home now. And like, she seems, she seems okay with it. But uh, she told me that she has a lot of shirts for me. So I'm going over there right now to find these shirts that she got for me. And she's like, don't, don't you dare look at the bottom one first. Cause it's my favorite. And if I, you better not look at it first. And I'm like, all right, well, let me go over here and see what this, all this commotion's about. All right, let's see what all this shirt hubbub was about. Oh, look at this. Oh, you get it? It's all together, Charlie Brown, and she's like, wah, 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 wah. I like it. Funny. All right, let's see. Bazooka. That's funny, too. Bubblegum, right? Oh, no. The cookie monster. He had too many cookies, and he's ashamed. Aha. The DeLorean crashed into a TARDIS. That's funny because they both time travel. Comedy right there. Doctor Who, Back to the Future, right? Good times. This is awesome. It's Colonel Mustard with the wrench killing Dr. Plum, Mr. Plum in the library. That's awesome. Here's the last one. Whoa. Oh, that's pretty funny. Look at Lassie is pushing Timmy in the well. And they're like, what is it, girl? Last Timmy stuck in a well? It's comedy right there is what it is. We make it high. So that was random. I, I'd say that it was definitely worth the trip over here for all those shirts. I mean, and sometimes, you know, when I'm like filming a vlog, sometimes I go places and I like leave parts out. So it looks like I was only there for five seconds. This place, like here, from my parents' house, I really was only here for five seconds because nobody's here. I just came in, got my shirts locked up and left. So good times. So I realized something. The day that I had the, uh, the, the duck covered in chocolate, I told you that there was a magician there and that he did a trick and uh, I would show you guys when we got home and I never showed you guys. So here it was, it was, he takes a spoon and he's like, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a nice, nice spoon. It's pretty, pretty sturdy, right? Right? And then he says, watch, watch really carefully right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this spoon and it's going to, it's going to bend here. And he starts to wave his hands over it and then he starts to wave his hands over it. And then it magically, it starts to bend. And people are like, wow, look at that. That spoon totally bent. And he holds it up and he's like, I know, man. And pretty soon, let's see if we can do it over your finger here. And he goes, he goes, hold out your finger. And what we'll do is, is we're going to make it, we're going to, we're going to make, we're going to make the spoon bend here. And then he just does, he goes like this. He's like. Do you see it bending? Do you see it bending? He's like, man, I can't, it's so crazy that this spoon, it's like, I can feel it starting to heat up. And then he's like, let's see here. Let's see, let's see if we can make it bend even more. And then he goes, oh, look at it bending. Wow, this is ridiculous. I can't even believe that. And then he's like, let's, let's, let's take a, uh, even further here. And he goes, Tim, you like me, you hold out your hand. And then he goes like this and he goes, Oh man, look at that, look at that spoon bend. And he's like, you can feel it heating up, can't you? This is ridiculous. I can't even believe how much it's bending. And he goes, hold your finger out one last time. And then he does it again and he's like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh my goodness. And then he finally, and he hands it to us and he's like, that spoon was, was totally straight before you guys got a hold of it. And I'm just like, well, yeah, cause, cause you bent it. Like... Of course it's not straight anymore because you bent it. Like, did you guys notice that the entire time that I was doing that, it may have looked like it was melting over my finger, but it was I was bending it with my hands in between each time. I, I just thought that, that was a little bit ridiculous. This first one was the coolest as far as, like, the, the ability to make it look like you're bending something, and all you're doing is, is you're just, like, he, that's what it was, is he had it upside down because he bent it in 
and he's just like, if you watch, it's starting to bend up. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And you know, all he's doing is moving his hand down and he had already bent it once. So I, I thought that was weird. And then the other one, this one was actually, it was kind of cool where you put it over somebody's finger and you kind of make it look like it's bending a little bit there. Because they're watching over here where it's going down, but all you're doing is just lifting up on this side so it looks like it's bending. And then when it gets even further bent, of course it works better with bigger spoons, but if you're holding it here, and of course with this big weight on the end of it, it's so perfect because all you're doing is doing this. You're just moving your, moving your finger back here, so you're holding it, and then you start to move your finger back. And look at that, it's totally, and if you're doing it nice and slow, they're paying attention to the part that's melting and bending, but all you're doing is just bending it yourself. Practice that one two or three times and you too can perform in a restaurant that serves chocolate covered duck. I was just looking at the old interwebs and Michael J. Fox has teamed up with Nike to put out the shoes from Back to the Future. They're called the Nike Mags. And uh, the only problem is they don't self-lace yet. They, they say they're gonna self-lace in 2015. That's like four years away. Why is it going to take you four years to make shoes that self-lace themselves? What? Doesn't even make any sense at all. But I, I thought I saw a guy was working on this like two years ago. I thought we were going to have self-lacing. Thought we were going to have self-lacing. Oh, I can't even do it. I thought we were going to have self-lacing shoes already. Did I do it? I'm a magician. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.